What's up, LARPers? Dirk's butt crack here, and I'm ready to review some blades. Let's get right to it. Don't need that. What's this? Don't need it. What's this? Don't need it. What are these? Don't need them. You know what we're here to review? Zikatana. Now we unsheathe the sword. Let's get down to business. Look to the feet. Ha! Right when I pull this thing out, I notice the balance is perfect. I can swing this bad boy at zombies, at wizards, at level 20 mages. I don't even care. I can swing it anywhere. Ha! 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 Next up, I notice the balance. The balance is pretty good. I think the hilt has a little bit of wear to it, but that's okay. Model wise, it's looking like the ZY708 64 banana. Anyway, before I go into more detail about it, I want to tell you a story about the origins of the katana. Never mind, there's ha! We're going to get right to the challenges over here. What's up, guys? You know what time it is now. Time for some challenges. But before you get to the challenges, I want to take some history on the katana. Just kidding. Let's get right to them. First challenge is the poke challenge. Now, whenever you're out in the field LARPing or, you know, hanging with the bros, if you've ever played RuneScape, you can see how powerful this sword would be in RuneScape. Now, they didn't make a katana back in 2007, but they did make an iron longsword, which I'm gonna pretend this is. Let's get ready for the poke challenge. Overall, pretty good poke challenge, solid eight out of 10. I was hitting for about 12 to 14 damage a hit, which is pretty good in my book. I had a level 20 strength, so overall, I'd give it eight out of 10. Nothing, no, nothing, no complaints about it at all. So second test we're gonna do is the chop test. How does this katana fare against a vertical bottle of Coca-Cola? Let's find out. You dirty Coca-Cola, you ain't taking over my town anymore. Hey! Wow, would you look at that? Now I took about a 30% swing at this thing and bam, right through it. Check that out. Chop test, 10 out of 10. So we went through the poke challenge and the chop challenge. The last challenge we're gonna do is for all you Lord of the Ring nerds out there like me. If any of you remember, Gandalf the Grey at the time goes up and says, you shall not pass and sticks his staff into the ground or something. I don't really remember because I'm not a Lord of the Rings dude. I'll admit it. Anyway, we're gonna go and we're gonna stick this katana or iron longsword, but more like a katana into the ground and see how far we can get it in there. All right guys, so we're back and now we're gonna do the challenge. Wow, look at that, that really got in there pretty far. Let's take a look exactly how far we did in the Gandalf challenge. Wow! So you can see the dirt starts right around here. So I'm gonna say that's eight inches, six inches. I don't really know, but I'll give it six and a half point seven out of 10. What's up guys, Dirk's butt crash here again. So that concludes our test for the Katana. The Katana. So I'm gonna shoot this bad boy up and go over a review. So we went through three tests. We went through the poke test, the trap test, and the Gandalf test. And we've got eight out of 10, 10 out of 10, and six and a half out of 10. That comes to a total of, don't care, because I didn't add it all up. So overall, it's a great katana. I would recommend if you're trying to stick it in the ground in a bar or lark with your bros on a random weekend. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe.